Hi, Mary Nan. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, different pathways of uh, claiming your German citizenship. Um, Germany had uh, a major change of law in September of 2021, yeah. uh, making everything a bit more flexible, a bit more um, inclusive and easier, if I mm -hmm. can put it that way. Could you tell us what some of the pathways to citizenship are um, for people that might be interested? Yeah, sure. So um, maybe start with the ones with that law change in August 2021. Um, so uh, a major one is called Decla Declaration, sorry, Declaration of German Citizenship, um, which opens it up a bit more. So before that law change, if you were born, um, you know, before 1975, in wedlock, so your parents were married, and um, let's say your father was foreign, was a US citizen, and your mother was German, you always automatically received your father's citizenship. So there was okay. no way for your mother to pass on her German citizenship to you. So it kind of like an example of discrimination, really, essentially, right? Yes, yes. Because, you know, the female gender always, yeah, you know, the minority, yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, so they changed it and made that gap bigger. So now it's May 1949. Um, so, okay. yeah, if you're born past 1949 and your, your mother was a German citizen at the time of your birth and your father was not, you can now you can claim, back. Yeah, okay. claim your citizenship back, which um, a lot of people fall into that category. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, so that's that's a major change. And then um, the other one was um, restitution. So there was a law before that. Okay. Um, that was, um, you know, if your ancestors fled or left Germany between World War II, um, you could, you know, for whatever reason, perse political persecution, religious faith, um, you could claim the citizenship back. And now they opened that up a bit wider as well for mm -hmm. the reasons, first of all, you know, because a lot of times it wasn't because you were Jewish, yep. you just didn't agree with um, what happened back then. Um, and also the time frame, it's not so much about you have to have left in that time period of World so War II. So that. Yes, yeah. it, it's, you know, if you left afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, for whatever reasons, um, yeah, there's now a pathway for that as well to open it up a bit, a bit okay. more and be more flexible. Interesting. So this is called restitution. Yeah. And um, I think under the amendments uh, in 2021, the other thing that changed, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that people that are not of German nationality can also claim, yeah? Yeah, that's correct. So if they, for example, they lived in Germany, but weren't able to receive German citizenship, you know, because let's say you were Polish, yep. of Jewish faith, there would have been no way they would have let you mm -hmm. become a German citizen. So um, that's okay. opening up for those people that, you know, had had their um, ancestors live in Germany, um, but yet they weren't of German nationality okay. as such. So we've covered um, declaration, we've covered restitution. What other pathways are there? Uh, then there is determination, which is okay. probably the most, well, not most common one, but the original one. Okay. Um, which is if your ancestor was German um, and immigrated to a, another country, um, which is, you know, it can go back to 1904. So if, you're, if your ancestor left after that period, then we would look into into it when they left, when they naturalised. Did they naturalise before or after the next generation okay. was born? That's an important part. And also it's it, it's important, was it a female or the male lineage? Because then mm. we get a bit more into that declaration law again. Okay. Um, but, yeah, that's the, 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 yeah, the original pathway. And are there any other ones? Um, naturalisation, which is, um, you know, more complicated. Uh, we mentioned that before. Um, yeah, more complicated way of if you, I would say it's more if you would really want to live in Germany um, and if you're not eligible in any, any other any path, other pathways, yeah, right, right. but it really is your is your goal to live there and, you know, work or whatever. Yeah, and that requires do. language, language skills, skills at a, which you know, the others B, B1 don't. level or something like that. Yes, yeah. yes, you have to do a test. A formal test yeah, uh, exam. Uh, yeah, written written and um, speaking, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, but generally speaking, as of uh, 2021, the laws have become a little bit more flexible. Yeah. Uh, and people that have um, either German heritage or whose ancestors found themselves on the German territory, essentially, during World War II, 
and they were subject to discrimination can now apply to the German government um, to get their citizenship back through yeah. different pathways, right? And uh, which is the office that handles these um, applications in Germany? Um, well, it's called BVA. It's the Bundesverwaltungsamt. It's, it's a yeah. nice German word. <laughs> um, yeah, BVA. Um, yeah, they handle all the, the applications. Mm -hmm which we directly correspond and we see if yeah. we handle your application. Because one of the things that uh, people ask us is whether you need to go through an attorney, whether you need to go through the consulate, and the answer is no, you can actually go directly um, through uh, BBA, yeah. which is um, the central processing office is what, in Cologne? Yeah, Cologne, yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, and, um, you know, there are application forms, you need to submit documents, and they assess your case how long. Does it typically take um, just on average um, to get it approved? Um, so that varies. So determination is the longest, mm -hmm. um, can take up to 24 months um, from when you submit the application. Mm -hmm. um, look, they're experiencing still a bit of a backlog from COVID, which is understandable, um, but I think they're slowly getting on top of it. Um, but yeah, up to 24 months for that mm -hmm. one. And then um, the restitution and the declaration pathways are called fast track because okay. first of all the declaration is pretty new and um, restitution is something you know they want to obviously make up for what happened to ancestors and so they prioritize that um, um, and that's at the moment around 12 months maximum also mm -hmm. a bit delayed yeah. because of COVID um, but definitely faster than the determination process. Beautiful. All right, so the message from our conversation is that there are lots of different pathways uh, for people that have German heritage or maybe even don't have German heritage. So really worthwhile uh, getting in contact with Marina. We have an entire team that looks at your case. We will ask you lots of questions um, and the compliance team will look at uh, your family history, uh, what documentation you have, is the research that needs to be done um, in any case, they will uh, determine which pathway you qualify for, if any, and then send you a proposal um, to see whether this is something for you. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks.